small rural community located 60 miles north of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's the type of place where everybody knows everybody. This is my hometown. The town bond is made even stronger through our local volunteers. Freeburg Township Volunteer Fire Department was established in 1956 and currently has approximately 30 Hmm. One word to describe. That's a tough question. Um, there's a bunch of words. I don't. I would. The stupid one would be fun. It's just fun to be here, I think. Oh, uh, busy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fishing. Uh, fun. Family. Family place. Uh, the hall is uh, family oriented. Uh, everybody takes care of each other on calls and at the hall. It's a uh, knit family, a uh, close family. We're all brothers and sisters difference between paid and volunteer firefighters. I feel like the, only, the difference, obviously, one gets paid, one doesn't, but I feel that you hear more about the volunteers than you do about the ones that get paid. Paid firefighters are just kind of held at higher standards. If the truth be known, I joined the fire company so I could get into the car races for free to be a volunteer on the corners at the racetrack. Although initially having a lackluster view of the department, Hen, or as I call him, Pap, soon grew to become one of our most valuable assets. He spends nearly every waking hour working at or doing something to better the department. Water line broke. Look at him. Going out on the water, I'm all because some jailbirds need a drink of water at 6.30 in the frickin' morning. That's what's going on. Yeah, there's that. It's a little late. It goes, and that's what it wants. We'll have enough to fill up with this stuff. Yeah, how hard is to drive with a third person in there? Yeah, I've done it before. I can't drop with just two people in here hard.
all for us too. They probably ain't gonna get any water out of here unless they dip it out of the top. So I was trying to turn the spigot on. So I was trying to warn them, might fall. Oh yeah. When I think of a firefighter, I think of that um, that show. I don't know what it's called with Dennis Leary. He's like real big and muscular, and he's like, "I'm a firefighter." We'll put out your fires. The first thing, the first image that pops in my head is basically the stereotypical fit is. Can I swear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, fit is all hell with their firefighter pants on, some uh, suspenders, and their hat, holding an axe, and being breaking down the door and saying, "Hey, I'm here to save the day," and then just that stereotypical sexy, hot, sweaty man. Big dude. Face mask, carrying an axe. I don't know why an axe, but firefighter, I think of an axe. I chose to join a fire department pretty much because I grew up with it all my life, and it's something I've known since I was born. I've been around it so or as long as I can remember. I've been involved since I was 16, so three and a half years now. I remember since I was a kid, um, my dad and all my uncles and grandpaps was far farming. And I just grew up with it, and I decided that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. That's my dad. This is my uncle. These are just people. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Check <laughs> it. Except for over there. Yeah. We don't know what that is. We don't know that one over there. We're going to have a big thing out here. Best moments. Just being here. Everybody treats you so good. You get yelled at, but. Everyone treats you so good, and you know when you come in here that even though Henry jumps on you and everything, it's all family. In fact, nearly 80% of all of our members at Rayburn are related in some way. We have uncles, cousins, brothers, and even generations such as daughters, and fathers. Most of the family belongs, so follow it along, I guess. The gear don't make the person. No, it doesn't. Uh, no, you got brand new gear and you don't even know how to show oh, up. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's whoa, 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 whoa. Big Daddy never got brand new gear. I'm still wearing the gear since the day I started here, so don't say I got new gear. Brand new. Still looks like new That's because I took it apart four <laughs> times, thank you, and took it down and washed it. Re Why would you wash it for? You never use it. Oh, 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 you can get the clean. off of it. Hey, it's <laughs> dusty from lack of use. No, you know, well, why do you use this? I don't care if she got the camera or not. You can't even blow the cobwebs off of it. Huh? Where do you keep your here? Gear? That's probably how I got dirty. It was hanging next to somebody else's the next I was here probably 30 years right. before I got a set of gear.
Justin's gonna be up here. Shooting, he's gonna be up here shooting around a little bit. Yeah, we're getting ready to take off. Are you? I was gonna say, I was gonna say, get back up, calls. But if not, you're leaving, that's fine. I think you'll be alright. I don't think yeah. it's gonna go anywhere. I figured it'd be uh, nice to help people in need. You know, if, if I needed help, I'd want people to come respond, and so I should do the same for other people. You can't expect a whole lot because we're all here. We may all have to get up and go to work. You can't expect the fire company to come. See, my theory is you created the problem. Yeah. Or somebody created the problem. We didn't create the problem. And we're just there trying to help you out and, you know, and try to make the best that we can of a bad situation. Yeah. So don't, you know, don't shoot the messenger, I guess, yeah. is what... That's what I'm saying, you know. Yeah, but... We, we, I mean, what are you going to do tonight when you go home? You're going to go home and go to bed. Yeah. You're going to go to bed. You're going to get up in the morning and go drive a goddamn gasoline no, truck. No, I'm off tomorrow. All right, but anyway, in, in reality, in reality, she's filming and they want to know the truth. I won't be driving. We're volunteers. Yeah. We're volunteers. I'm going to go home and sure, I don't work no more. But for 45 of these fucking 47 years that I've been here, I worked. Yep. And I was here. I was here day or night, you know, if, you know, I was able and God willing and I could get here back then, we didn't have pagers, but I made every freaking call. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do and saving people's lives at various, like, occasions. I know disasters are never a good thing, but it's always good to have somebody there. Thank you to the firefighters. Uh, you guys do a ton of stuff for everyone. You're very brave, braver than I. Um, you know, my grandfather once somebody that broke into his house, and it was the firefighters who came and helped him out, not the police. So, firefighters, you guys do more than I think most people think you do. You do a good job with it. I say keep doing what you guys are doing because you guys are a godsend. My dad was a volunteer firefighter, and I grew up wanting to be a firefighter, trying to be like my dad. That was way past when my dad was a firefighter, though, but I think it's great what you guys are doing, and keep doing what you're doing because you're saving lives. Uh, I really want to say thank you to all the firefighters out there. I mean, without you guys, I don't know how many, how many lives would have been lost, and a special thanks to um, somebody close to me, a personal friend that is a volunteer and she's a badass that I love and she's hardworking. So that her job out there makes me feel a lot safer out there. So I love you guys, thank you very much.